Right, um, in your name, any other form of Jesus Christ, no, and a day, yeah, that Jesus Christ, I say, say, Christo, I call your home, Ama, Yebusu, Eti, I say, once again, this is a uh, prophet, do do Henry Apia Cran, live on Freedom FM 89.3 FM, and as usual, last three weeks, uh, we talked about dreams. We talked about our dreams and then victory and several um, topics in our Christian life. Uh, so this very day I'm going to share with you a very powerful topic. And I believe that by the time I end this short teachings, um, the Holy Spirit is going to speak to you and to illuminate your uh, spiritual senses. But before we start love once hearing me, uh, let's begin with prayer. Uh, let's begin with prayer. Heavenly Father, we bless your name this very hour. Uh, Father, your word declares that wherever two or three have gathered in your name, Jesus Christ, there you are in their presence. Holy Spirit, we invite you here. Speak unto our hearts and let us word bring forth life and power into our hearts. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, loved ones in Christ Jesus, uh, once again, this is Prophet do you do Henry Apia Kran once again on Freedom FM? And uh, if this is your first time connecting with me, I encourage you to, to um, tell your friends to tune in their radio to Freedom FM right now so they can connect with me wherever they are live in the studios. And today I'm going to talk about a uh, spiritual marriage um, with my little connection with my experience. I've realized that. Many people are struggling with a spiritual marriage. Many people are struggling. They are going through all kind of um, uh, difficulties. They are going through all kind of um, uh, certain difficulties. And I believe that by the time I end the short teachings, you are going to receive illumination, revelations, and empowerment to walk over these spiritual uh, uh, limitations. Child of God... There is something we call spirit marriage. Now, if you read the book of 1 Corinthians, let us open our Bible to the book of 1 Corinthians to see what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses um, number 15. I want to establish a foundational picture for you to know that spiritual marriage is very biblical. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses number 15, the Bible says that know ye know that your bodies are the members of Christ. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye know that which is joined to an harlot is one body. For two seed shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Now get a key concept here. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses number 17, the Bible says that, But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Now, when you become born again, when you repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, you become one with the Holy Spirit. You are married to the Holy Spirit. You are joined to the Heavenly Father. You are connected to Christ Jesus. Now, if you read further, the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses number 19. It says that what? Know ye know that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have God, and ye are not of your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. Now, if you study the Bible carefully, you get to understand that there is a connection between our spirit and the Holy Spirit. I said earlier that if you become born again, if you repent from your sins and accept Christ Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior, you are connected, your spirit, your soul, and your body is unified, is connected to the Holy Spirit. Now in this arena, we have called a godly uh, or holy spiritual marriage. When you are married to the Holy Spirit, it's godly, it's very holy. There is nothing bad about that. But there are some unclean spirits 
that are called demons and evil spirits that can also marry you. And I'm going to share with you from the Bible the foundational scripture for this truth. Now, let's open our Bibles to the book of Ephesians chapter 6. It's a very familiar scripture. Ephesians chapter 6, verses number uh, 10 to number 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verses number 10 to number 12. The Bible says that finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against all the wills of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, child of God, if you read further, you get to understand that Apostle Paul was talking about seven or certain kinds of powers which are at battle with us. Now, there are some unclean spirits, by the grace of God, I have had several encounters with this marine spirit. And this spirit, they are very, very weak, a child of God, with my encounter with this marine spirit, this marine witches, they are very, very wicked. They are very, 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 very wicked and very unmerciful. Now, let me share some of my experience with you about these spirits. I remember I had a vision, it was about a deep dream in the vision, the Lord took me to deep down in, in, the, in the ocean. Now, in the ocean, I saw many human beings. They were lying in the ocean. They were lying like they were asleep in the ocean. And I saw all kinds of strange beings like women. And they were moving their body like mammoths. As a water no more in Shiru. And I saw many men, many women. They were in that ocean, in that sea. And after this encounter... I saw myself coming out from that ocean and I saw people, those who were in the ocean, they were following me out from that ocean. After the encounter, I felt the Lord telling me that he has called me to deliver some people from the bondage of the marine spirit. Now we have different kinds of spirit according to the Holy Bible that there are principalities, there are powers, there are dominions and there are different kinds of forces. By the grace of God, I have written over seven books about spiritual warfare and demonic powers. By the grace of God, if you go to my blog, by the grace of God, you check www.rockofheaven.com. You can get all my books. All my books are for free by the grace of God. I have over seven books about these things. Now, with this vision that I had, when I saw these uh, things in the realm of the spirit, I got to understand that there are some unclean spirits. And now, these demons are very, very wicked. With my experience, sometimes you sleep, you see yourself having sex. Now, there are some instances that it can be maybe your XX sperm that may come out of your, um, your, your something that we call it. I get it now. There is a way that this unclean spirit can have access to you. And there are some demons which are more wicked than other demons. Child of God, hear me carefully. There are some demons which are more wicked than other demons. Now, let's open our Bible to the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses number 24. In the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses number 24, child of God, whatever I'm teaching, you are very biblical. By the time I end these teachings, we are going to learn a lot about spiritual marriage, how to get out from these things. I've had several encounters, dreams, having sex, by the grace of God, the Lord has given me the, the practical key to come out from this bondage. Now, in Luke chapter 11, verses number um, 24, Luke chapter 11, verse number 24, the Bible said that when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through a dry places, seeking rest, and finding none, he said, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished, then he then go and he and take at him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Now, if you read the Bible carefully, these are the words of Jesus that when the demon is out of a man, he goes out to search for other wicked spirits. So there are some demons which are more wicked than other demons. Now, child of God, hear me carefully. There are some evil spirits, there are some unclean spirits 
there are some demons which are more powerful, which are more wicked than other demons. According to the book of Luke chapter 11 verse 24 to number 26. And with my experience, I've come to realize that the marine witches are very, very, very wicked. Child of God, the marine spirits are very, very unmerciful. Sometimes you can pray, you can fight, they can still attack you. And they attack on legal grounds. I remember I was delivering a lady in a church. I mean, bomb pride I was delivering her in a church. As I was praying for her, there were some pastors around me whilst I was delivering this lady. This lady was acting like a snake. She was moving like a snake on the ground. And whilst I was praying and then delivering this lady, she said that she can kill one of the pastors helping me to deliver her. And when I asked, I thought in my inner man that the other men of God were involved in fornication. That is why the demon inside the lady said that she can kill the other pastors helping me deliver this lady. This lady was involved in fornication. She sleep around, sleep anywhere. She just like a harlot. And whilst I was delivering her, I could see the spirit of a serpent, of a snake, moving directly in, 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 her, in her spirit, in her soul. So, child of God, you must understand that spiritual marriage very, very well. Demons can get attached to you if you don't know the truth about these things. And there are some, there are, in fact, over thousands and then, if possible, billions of people who are going through spiritual marriage. And they are not married. Child of God. Now, you have to understand that whatever I'm teaching you, they are biblical. They are very, very, very biblical. So, I'm not teaching from my own sense. They are all from the Bible, from my experience. And I've told that I myself have had several encounters with these demons. And by the grace of God, the Lord has helped me overcome this wicked uh, spirit. Now, I want to teach you what demons, what this marine spirit, they do when they come into your life. Now, number one is that when they come into your life, what they do is that they give you mental sickness like depression, like um, psychosis, uh, schizophrenia, all these things like mental illness, diseases, bad luck, poverty, backwardness, stagnation, uh, demotion. They, they invite all kind of bad luck into your life. When these unclean powers are working inside your life, they project evil dreams. They project sicknesses. They project poverty. They project a dream of backwardness. Dream of stagnation. Sometimes you dream and you see yourself in your former village, sometimes in your former uh, school, in your former uh, hometown. Sometimes you dream, you see yourself writing exam, you can't write examination. You dream yourself, you see yourself in a public toilet. These are the dreams of the marriage. They project this evil dream to create a covenant to attack you, to stagnate you. Sometimes they can limit your relationship. Child of God, I am speaking from experience. I am speaking from a spiritual so child of God. These demons are very, 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 very wicked. And most often when they enter your life, they will stagnate your relationship. They will limit your relationship. They will destroy your relationship. They come in to cause trouble in your marriage, to cause conflict in your, uh, in, in your end hours of life, in your work, in your business. They make you um, frustrated. These are the words of the marine spirits. They try to um, limit your glory. They try to block your blessings. They try to make you confused. Try to make you depressed, unhappy, very gloomy, very uh, uh, hopeless. Very. Com These are the works of the marine spirit. Child of God, if you allow them into your life, they will not spare you. If you allow these demons, they will not spare you. I'm going to teach you why these demons get access to your life. Nothing happens without a cause. Child of God, Nothing happens without a cause. And hear me carefully. Before this unclean spirit can get access to your life, number one is that it might be through a bloodline covenant. Sometimes the bloodline covenant can open a door for this unclean spirit or this marine which is to access your life. Maybe in your family, in your mother's family, in your father's family. You would have created a kind of demonic diabolic covenant with demons with our gods and therefore because you are part of that family they can get access to you to fight against your glory 
They can marry because you are part of the family. It's not your fault. It's because you are coming from that from that is why they have access to you. It's a it's an agreement. It's a legal ground that they can use to assess your life. So sometimes you get married because of the family you are coming from. Whether your father, your great-grandfather, maybe your aunties, maybe your, your grandfather, your grandmother, your great-great-great-grandfather, maybe they made a, a kind of um, covenant with these demons and therefore they have married all those in their bloodline. So child of God, if you come from that family, they have access to you, they have a legal ground to marry you and, to, and then to fight against you. Many marriages have been destroyed. There are many marriages. There is divorce, separation, conflict, war because of these spiritual marriages. A lady once called me and told me that a prophet of God in my life, I've been going through struggles. I've been going through bad dreams, depression. There is no man marrying me. As the woman was talking, I could feel her pain. A man just called me. He was a pastor in one of the uh, in so many, in, in uh, so, at so many of Dumas, he called me and told me that he's 54 years, he's a pastor, he's not married. When he was talking, I could see that it was a spiritual marriage blocking his marriage. I know several people who are not married, who are single, who are divorced, who are going through pain, who are going through financial constraint because of this spiritual marriage. Now, this unclean spirit, they are very, very wicked. They are very, 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 very wicked to, to, the, to the highest degree. They attack without mercy. They attack without a, 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 a pain. They attack you with all their strength. So, child of God, whatever I'm teaching you, follow these teachings. Now, number two reason why they have access to your life is because of your past relationship. Maybe you are into fornication. Maybe you are into harlotry. We're doing bad things now. Fornication or adultery opens the door for this unclean spirit to, to get access to you. If you know you are involved in maybe a uh, harlotry, womanizing, you are not married, you watch porn videos, you watch sadistic videos, bad music. Now, all these things are channels through with this unclean spirit can get access to your life. So, if you are involved in those a child of God, you must repent from that act. The books you read, the erotic books, the sensual books, the pornographic books, are you getting me? The, the, the videos that you are watching, all these things are trying to show you these demons can get access to your life. So, be careful of those things. Number three reason why these powers have access to you is because of what? Of you are living in a cursed area. Maybe the area you are living it's a very demonic place. There are some places, it's full of curses, full of demonic altars, full of wizards, full of witches. Because you live in that place, there is an altar there. And that altar can give access to this unclean spirit to get access to you. There are some workplaces, some organizations, uh, some schools, some places. If you work there, there are some covenant there. So, child of God, because you are working there, they place you under demonic Altars, and therefore these demons can get access to you. Child of God, don't joke what I'm telling you. They're very, very serious, very, very important. Now, another reason may be that it may be the work of the enemy, bewitchment. You see that there are some witches, they cast spells, they use charms, they bewitch. Sometimes they project evil dreams that I said earlier that you see yourself having sex in a dream. These are the, the loopholes. These are the gates. These are the channels through which, if you don't take care, they can get access to you. So, sometimes you dream, you have sex, maybe you are doing masturbation, maybe you, you are doing all kind of nasty in your dreams. They project these evil dreams to just get access to you. The Bible says that whilst men slept, the enemy came and sowed tales among them. So, whilst you are asleep, your spirit man is alive. Your soul is alive, but your body is asleep. And this, at this season, you are unconscious. And these unclean powers can bend your will and then make you do what they want you to do. So sometimes in your dream, you see yourself that a fair lady will come to you like a madman. You see him chasing you. These are the spiritual husband and wives. They come in there 
to just make love with you, just to seduce you, just to project all kind of videos, all kind of maybe your past girlfriend, all these things are channels through which they can get access to your life. Another reason why you are going through all these things is because you have a low prayer life. You have a very low spirit. You don't pray. You don't fast. No time for the Holy Bible. So you are weak in the realms of the spirit. So child of God, if you are weak spiritually, these demons can get access into your life. So after this key point, child of God, know when to close that door. Another reason why they have access is because of the unbroken godly soul towels. Unbroken, ungodly soul towels. So anyone who sleep with, you create a soul towel with that person. One it can get access to your life. So, child of God, the ungodly soul towel can get access to you and then fight against your glory. Now, the question is, how do you get out? How do you break free from this satanic powers or this marine spirit? Now, number one key is that you must repent. Repentance is the master key. The Bible says that um, there is no salvation in any other man except through Jesus Christ. So when you repent from your sins and then give your life to Jesus Christ, he comes into your life and he sets you free. The Bible says that when we know the truth, we shall receive our deliverance. So child of God, when you repent from that evil act, the fornication lifestyle, the, the masturbation, the adultery, when you stop watching the porn videos, the, the masturbation, if you stop doing all those things, you can re release or you can receive deliverance from the powers of these unclean powers. Now, number two is that you must, you must live a life of holiness, a life of purity. If you walk in holiness and purity, there is a divine law that protects you. In the book of Psalm 34, verse number 7, the Bible says that the Lord encamped his angels around them that fears him. So, when you live in holiness, when you live in purity, you can have your freedom. So, child of God, live in holiness. Live in purity. Live in righteousness. Pursue the things of God. In Matthew chapter 6, Verses number 33. The Bible says that we should seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto us. So child of God, if you live in holiness, there is a spiritual law that you create that the Lord can deliver you from this unclean spirit. Number three is that you must fast and pray. Constantly fast and pray. I am giving you practical keys. Whatever I'm teaching you, I follow it. By the grace of God, every week, I fast and pray for at least three days. So constantly fast and pray. There are some demons, until you fast and pray, you cannot conquer them. Child of God, there are some unclean powers, until you fast and pray, you cannot dominate them. Jesus said that this can go and not, except by fasting and what? And pray. So child of God, when you fast and pray, you break the chains of the enemy. When you fast and pray, the Lord can release you from every powers of the wicked one. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58 and let's see what the Bible says in that particular place. Isaiah chapter 58 verses number 6. Child of God, don't play with your Christian life and then be very spiritual. Isaiah chapter 58, verse number 6. The Bible says that it's not this the fast I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye may even break every yoke. Child of God, when you fast and pray, there are some chains that break. When you fast and pray constantly, you become very powerful in the realms of the spirit. 
When you fast and pray, these unclean powers, they will leave you. They will divorce you. They will reject you. When you fast and pray, you are empowered in the realms of the spirit to, to subdue all the unclean powers limiting your glory. When you fast and pray, you receive an empowerment, a revival, a spiritual strength to overcome the wickedness of the wicked. So child of God, constantly fast and pray. I don't joke with my fasting life. I don't play with my fasting life. As I said earlier, that at least every week I fast and pray for three days. It is part of my Christian life. Nobody tells me by the grace of God, I do that every week. And because I do that, I stay very alert in my Christian life. So child of God, if you want to overcome this unclean powers, every demon, every witch, every power of darkness, constantly build a fasting and prayer life. Because there is power in fasting and prayers. As time goes on, I will teach more into fasting and prayers. Now, number four key is that you must do what? You must use the midnight hour to pray. Use the midnight hour to pray. Now, in the midnight hour, that is when the enemy attacks most. So, between maybe 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and 3 a.m., rise up and pray at that time. As you pray at that time, you release the power of God. As you fast and pray at that time, the angels of God will fight for you and then deliver you from every powers of the wicked. In the book of Acts, let's read it carefully. In the book of Acts chapter 16, let's see what the Bible says in the book of Acts. Alright, Acts chapter 16, verses number 25. The Bible says, And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's band were loose. Now, why did Paul and Silas pray and praise at midnight? Child of God, when you pray and praise in the midnight, there is a supernatural intervention. For me, I'm not lying to you, by the grace of God, almost every midnight I pray. I don't know why. Almost every midnight I pray. Between 12 and then 3, I rise and pray. Maybe at least one hour is enough, I pray. Because in the midnight hour, the, the witches, those in the covens, they fly at midnight and they project curses. They project calamities. They project evil. They project death. That is when they come in to plant their wickedness. So you to at midnight, rise up and pray. When you rise and pray in the middle of the night, this marine spirit, they cannot dominate you. And I feel like that this unclean power, they attack most in the midnight hour. Sometimes you see in your house, you hear crows, you hear all kinds of strange bears, they are carrying at you. You see all kinds of animals on your ceilings. These are the works of witches, the marine witches, the jurisdictional powers, the, the altars in that place. They come there to monitor the familiar spirit. Are you getting me? This unclean spirit, they come there to monitor you, to pick information, to project attack on your child of God. Always pray at the midnight hour. When you pray at the midnight hour, you can receive deliverance from this unclean spirit. As time goes on, I'll teach deeper into this thing. Now, another key is that you must constantly declare the word of God. Constantly declare the word of God. There is power in the word of God. The word of God is like a hammer that breaks every soul. When you decree and pray the word of God, it can bring deliverance. Child of God, never in your life pray amiss. When you are praying, pick a holy scripture and pray according to the word of God. When you confess and decree the word of God, it works wonders in the realms of the spirit. When you decree the word of God in the realms of the spirit, angels of God, they will obey your commands because the angels of God, they obey the word of God, the Holy Bible. So as you declare, decree, confess the word of God, the, the, the holy angels, the archangels, the cherub, the seraphs, they are mandated to obey that command because it is the word of God. They submit to that word. So child of God, 
begin to declare and confess God's word daily in your life. When you do that, these unclean powers, they will leave you. Another key is that you must feed your spirit man with the word of God. Now before that, let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verses number 12. Hebrews chapter 4 verses number 12. The Bible says that for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing ascender of the soul and spirit and of the joint of the marrow, and is a discerner of the thought and the intent of the house of child of God. The word of God is quick. It is a weapon. It can break into every plan of the enemy. In the realms of the spirit, when you see yourself holding a sword, is the word of God. If you see yourself carrying a weapon, maybe like a knife, a sword, that is a weapon, a gun is a weapon. So, child of God, when you begin to decree and then confess and project the word of God, it destroys, it breaks, it, it dismantles all the barriers and all the yoke and all the bondage of the wicked one. So, child of God, daily confess and daily pray the word of God. As you confess and pray the word of God, the mighty power inside that word will deliver and bring salvation. Jesus said that we shall know the truth and the truth will make us free. So child of God, when you begin to feed the word of God, feed on the word of God and then meditate on God's word, it delivers your soul from every unclean uh, deposit. The Bible says that whatever the heavenly father has not planted in our life must be what? Must be I put as a child of God, as you feed in the word of God, it enters your soul, it enters your inner man, and it, it delivers you from every seed of the wicked. As a child of God, daily feed your inner man with the word of God. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 2. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 2, the Bible says that as newborn babies, we must earnestly desire the sincere milk of the word so that we will grow there by the child of God. As you feed on the word of God, we become, become very stronger in the realms of the spirit. I will not go deep into these things. You get my book, How to Grow in the Realms of the Spirit, How to Train the Human Spirit by Diodu Henry Apiakwan. All my books are free. Just go to my blog www.rockofheaven.com By the grace of God, I have over 500 articles free of charge. If you go to my YouTube channel, you just enter my name, Henry Diodu Apiakran. My name is spelled, uh, Henry is spelled as H-E-N-R-Y Diodu is spelled D-U-O-D-U Apiakran is spelled A-P-P-I-A-H-K-O-R-A-N-G So, you enter on YouTube Henry Diodu Apiakwa, you can see my YouTube channel, I have over 300 videos and teachings on these things, connect with them, it will bless you, child of God, don't be ignorant, the Bible says for the lack of knowledge, my people do or they perish, so don't be ignorant, now another master key to overcome this part is that you must do what, you must break every ungodly soul tower. do what, break every ungodly soul tower. We read in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15, the Bible says that our bodies are the temples of what? Of God, of the Holy Ghost, the child of God. If you join with a harlot, you create a soul towel with that person, with that man, with that So There are some people that carry demons. They carry unclean spirits. So as you join with them, the demons inside them can get access. So you have to break every ungodly soul towel. Disconnect your spirit with your mouth, with your tongue. Disconnect your soul Disconnect your body from every ungodly soul. You can say that I, I, maybe Bernard, I disconnect myself from every ungodly soul. Tar. Anybody have come showed I disconnect myself, I divorce any spiritual husband, any spiritual wife, any spiritual children. Say, declare the word of God, disconnect yourself, break that ungodly soul. Tar. As you disconnect yourself with your tongue, that there is life and power in your tongue. The Bible says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. So, child of God, begin to say that I disconnect myself. I disconnect my soul. I disconnect my spirit. I disconnect my body from every satanic, ungodly soul. Anybody that I 
I yoke with, I disconnect myself, I divorce any spiritual husband, any spiritual wife, I disconnect myself permanently from that person in the name of Jesus, child of God. As you do that continually, you see God delivering you daily in your life. Another key is that you can also have a strong connection with the Holy Spirit. Build a strong connection with the Holy Ghost. So sometimes on your phone, download Christian music, worship the Lord, praise the Lord, honor God. It must be part of your habit. For me in my room, I'm always playing Christian songs. I'm always worshiping God. In my, in my room, I play Christian music. It's always on. To, to charge my atmosphere, to, to relieve my inner man. As you play the Christian song in your room, maybe an anointed Christian song, a biblical song, just play smoothly whilst you're asleep. Just play it daily to charge, to, 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 renew your, to renew your soul. As you do that, the power inside that song, inside that word, can bring deliverance to your soul. So build a personal connection with the Holy Ghost. By the grace of God, I have over 10 books about the Holy Ghost you can download them for free by me. That is Henry Diodu Apiakran. And all my books are on Amazon. You can also buy them. Buy them for free. Just go to my blog. They are all free on my blog and my YouTube channel. So, child of God, just build a, a, a connection with the Holy Ghost. It will help you in that arena. Another way is that you must associate properly because the one you connect with has an impact in your life. So, the Bible says that be ye not unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what has light to do with that? So, child of God, your influence, what you allow, who influences you? Are you getting me? So, get rid of any bad friend, any bad videos, any bad books, any bad songs. Disconnect yourself from these things. When you disconnect yourself from these seductive videos, the porn videos, uh, this uh, bad books, if you disconnect yourself from there, you are closing your eye gate, your ear gate. In fact, all your senses has a gate. So, child of God, watch your gate and then disconnect from that place. It will help you in that arena. So, I think that if you follow this master key, this are enough for you. If you follow this master key, it can help you walk in power and to walk in um, revelation. So, child of God, once again, this is Prophet Diodu Henry Apiakran. Live on Freedom FM 89.3 um, uh, Radio uh, in Ghana here. So I encourage you, uh, if you want to maybe come have a program, you can just come to Freedom FM. You can book with them. Come and do maybe a program with them. It's a very good place. Just come to Freedom FM. It's a very good place. Come then and do your programs. They can advertise your program for you and do many things for you. So just be lying with them. Wherever you are hearing me, child of God, once again, this is Prophet Yodu Henry Apiakran. If you are hearing you are not born again, you are saying, Pastor, Prophet, I will give my life to Jesus. For it's never too late, the blood of Christ can set you free. Wherever you are hearing me, you want to give your life to Jesus, lift up your two hands. I'm going to pray with you right now. Lift up your two hands. I'm going to pray with you right now to, to have a very powerful deliverance from the word of God. Pray after me, child of God, wherever you are hearing me, pray after me, and God will deliver you. Say, Heavenly Father, Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you this very hour. I have repented of all my sins and I confess Christ Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Holy Spirit, come into my heart. Grant me grace and grant me mercies in Jesus' name. Shout a big amen. Child of God, um, I'm going to pray for you right now. You touch your forehead with your right hand and then touch your stomach with your left hand. I'm going to pray for you right now from, from the power of the Holy Ghost to deliver you right now from every body of the wicked one. So just touch your head right now. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, whoever is connected with me, whether in the house, in the room, whether in, in the workplace, wherever you are hearing me, I pray for you. It is written that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be delivered as you have touched your forehead right now i pray for you that receive deliverance from every unclean spirit every powers of darkness tormenting your life making your life going through depression i release you from every spiritual prison every ocean of darkness release 
be, be free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It is written that it shall come to pass in the last days that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered as I call upon the name of the Lord. Be delivered right now from every unclean powers, every marriage spirit, every spirit husband, every spirit wife, tormenting your life, limiting your glory. I cast that powers in the name of Jesus and I bind those powers and I cast them right now into the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. May the blood of Jesus Christ set you free. I soak your spirit and I soak your body and I soak your soul into the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of the Lamb that speaketh her. Let that blood speak for your mercy. I speak over your life that you shall marry, that you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not believe her. I speak over your life that receive empowerment. Receive your healing right now by the stripe of the lamb. Her. Receive empowerment right from that sick place right now. Wherever you are hearing me right now, may the hand of the Ghost touch you right now. You are set free. You are covered. You are empowered. You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. I speak over your life that no way Weapon, weapon of insanity, weapon of stagnation, weapon of demotion, weapon of setback, weapon of stagnation, weapon of late marriage. I break that yoke, I break that curse upon your life. Every mouth that lift their voice against you in judgment, I condemn that voice right now in the name of Jesus. For it is our heritage as God's servant, and we stand upon the righteousness of Jesus Christ. May the hand of God come upon your life. I declare clear and decree that you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not believer. May the hand of God touch you right now. Receive the mercy of God. Receive the power of God. Receive the touch of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Every depression every illness, every mental illness in you. I pray the Holy Ghost touch you right now. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive joy. Receive peace. Receive happiness. Receive grace. Receive mercy. Receive wisdom. Wherever you are, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are delivered child of God. You are set free. Go in the power of the Holy Ghost and go in freedom in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Shout a big amen, child of God. You are delivered wherever you are hearing me. Once again, this is Prophet Diodu Henry Apia Kran. And as you heard me today, we are trying to create a WhatsApp group. Um, uh, you can just send a hi to 020-777-3270. That's the WhatsApp number. I repeat again. Just send a hi. We are creating a WhatsApp group. You want to join the group? Just send a hi to that number. You add it to the group. You are going to start an online prayer meeting on Zoom and other platform. So just send a hi. The prophet, I want to join the the group. I'm interested. The number again is zero two zero seven 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 three two seven zero. So zero two zero three four seven thirty two zero. And my personal number, if you want to call me, please don't call right now. When I give the number, please don't call right now. When I leave the studio, you can call me. Maybe tomorrow you can call me. If you're outside Ghana, you can add plus 233-541-585807. Please don't call the number now. Don't call the number now. Don't call the number now. You can call tomorrow, God willing, or maybe after the studios. If you're in Ghana here, just enter... 0541-585807. If you're outside Ghana, the code is 00233. And then you just add the 541-585807. Uh, God bless you once again and catch you next week, the same time, 11 p.m. Ghana time. And you are blessed in Jesus' name.